Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the 1212 portal reading for the sign of Virgo. This is going to be for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus signs. And um, obviously being a general reading, this will not resonate for everybody. So please do go check out the other videos that make up your natal chart as often they can resonate more than your sun sign. And cross watchers, if I'm speaking to Virgo and it's resonating for you, then by all means, take the message as it resonates and don't make it fit if it doesn't fit, guys. It just means I'm not tuning into your specific vibration. So the 1212 portal is very significant, important when it comes to closing out massive karmic cycles. I've done two videos that will give a lot more in-depth about why this is so powerful. Um, they're for the divine masculine, divine feminine energies for the 1212 portal. And we all have masculine and feminine um we, we exhibit those energies regardless of our gender and regardless of our primary energy. And so there will be a lot more information in those videos that I'm going to cover here in the astrological ones. So do go check those out. And also do check out the 2020 series. We have massive energies coming in. The 1212 portal is clearing stuff out so that we can bring in the new light that's coming in in January 2020. And by understanding the magnitude and the importance of the beautiful energy that's coming our way will allow us to leverage that beautiful energy for the highest and best for us. You know, if we're unconscious about what's happening around us, we'll get some effects, but it's not going to be the same as if you, if you don't really understand the context. So with that, let's pull a card here for... Virgo, the overall message, the overall theme for this portal for the sign of Virgo. Ooh, and we're getting commitment. Commitment when it comes to love, being committed to yourself, being committed to your journey, being committed to another. So beautiful message of commitment here. So some of you could be... To me, this feels like committing to yourself, number one. And what it what you want from love, and again, this is where that 2020 series makes so much sense, is we've all been building towards what this means when it comes to unconditional love. That's coming in big time in 2020. So with that, let's see how what past energies have been weighing you down, Virgo, leading up to this portal. What energies have been weighing Virgo down? We have the Princess of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Prince of Swords. So you're basically deciding here about head over heart and whether you are aligning yourself. To, you know, you're being reborn. The Judgment card here. You could be certainly deciding between two people, one that is more of a logical choice and one that is more of um, an emotional choice. You could be deciding whether to, for some of you, this could be that you may need have been needing to apologize about a situation to somebody um, and that's what's been weighing you down and you haven't taken action. Tell me about the Princess of Cups. Yeah, because you've been wanting to make something better here with this communication about your feelings. Why is the judgment card here? The princess of wands. There's a lot of people here. We have two princesses and one prince. So it could be that there's... What's been weighing you down is trying to figure out what you want. You know, there's something here about thoughts. There's something here about emotions. There's something here about spirituality. So, um, but you're, you're really aligning right now to the energy of love. So let's see what is being confronted with this portal for you, Virgo. Five of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and now I don't read reversals, and the Star. Wow. What's
what's being confronted here is some sadness around the past. You have sadness around the past. You have some regrets. You might have some shame. And you're wanting a new start here. You're wanting something that's destined. You're wanting to heal a situation. And it feels like you might not have followed through on a situation before. And that's what you're having regrets about here, Virgo. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Queen of Cups. Yeah, because there's someone here that you have um, a lot of love for and who has a lot of love for you. But at the end of the day, there's some sadness around this. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Ace of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. You're wanting to make this real. This is relating to family. This is relating to abundance. You're wanting a new beginning when it comes to this. So you could be renewing your commitment, Virgo, to your existing family, to your existing relationship. Making a commitment to emotionally show up in a different way here. Um, and you've been sad because maybe you haven't done that in the past. But why is the star here? This is what you've been learning about yourself. You know, you've gone within, figured this out, been figuring this out, and you want to, it feels like you might want to heal a situation. You want to make something better. That's absolutely coming through very clearly here. So let's see what's being reborn for you, Virgo. What is being reborn for Virgo with this portal? The Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords and the devil. Wow. Okay. This is very interesting. That's like all of a sudden a, a, a like a, a sharp, abrupt turn in the reading. So I'm going to get more and understand why these are coming through. Oh boy. <laughs> and the commitment just fell. The commitment card just fell through. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? Right? see you might be getting tested here Virgo which is fine because you can pass any test no worries but we are getting a situation that's being in terms of what's being reborn in you is the completion of a cycle where things have been toxic um, there may have been some illusions. You may have felt trapped, not know, knowing how to get out of the situation. And, but you do want it to be completed and you're wanting to get out of being stuck here. So for some of you, like I said, there could be going towards a new beginning in love with another person, closing out something that's not good, something that's toxic. Because it feels like spirit wanted to bring in the, the people that were likely leaving a toxic situation. Um, and if you're not leaving it, you're leaving the toxicity and, and the codependency behind. There could be some addictions involved here. But let's see what's being reborn. Again, why is the devil here? With the six of cups. That's a reunion. That's the energy of unconditional love. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Four of Cups. See, because you haven't known how to take advantage, to, how to go for this opportunity that's going to make you happy in love. And the Ten of Swords is getting the sun. So what's being reborn is a brand new start. Again, with family certainly coming through, there's multiple cards of family. The Ten of Pentacles, the sun, the Six of Cups. That could represent children involved here. But what's being reborn here is you conquering this, this devil energy. When it comes to the energy of a soulmate, Six of Cups is getting the tower. So this is a breakthrough. See? You're, I kept feeling that. I'm like, that's kind of wild that that came in in that position. But here it is. It's the breakthrough. You're busting the chain that the devil has kept you back here. And I'm actually going to pull one more card from another deck just to confirm. Um, in terms of what's being reborn for you here, Virgo. Surrender to the divine. 
Yep, not the devil. Surrender to the divine. This is your path here, Virgo, but you're finding a way out of it. The opportunity is giving you, the universe is bringing you this opportunity for this breakthrough. And so this is about you conquering these fears. So let's see what truths you're aligning with. What truths is Virgo now going to be aligning with, with this portal about themselves? We have the King of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Eight of Cups. See? So some of you are moving on from being held in toxicity and toxic patterns for sure and you're taking action and you're ready to make things happen there's could be also a card of communication some of you could be moving on from that situation and some of you could be just moving towards the ten of cups um, energy so why is the eight of cups here the death card so something's definitely ending and it doesn't mean a relationship is ending but a phase of a relationship is ending that has to be over with dead done with over we're getting cards of completion here with the death and the ten of swords um, this is the transformation um, the rebirth so this is either a rebirth of an existing relationship this can be the rebirth um, of yourself in terms of when it comes to your commitment to love um, maybe you are honestly moving on from the past and moving towards your future here. You're definitely taking action and ready to move forward, learning from your mistakes. And for the Eight of Wands, we're getting Justice and the Three of Wands. So Justice is being served here. Um, you're making plans for the future. You're making things right. You're balancing the scales. And this is something that's been needing to happen for a while. So the commitment message is very strong. All right, Virgo, that is your reading. Please do go check out the other videos as well. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.